What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into uh, Krishan's case update. This is by Cassandra, your favorite paralegal. Let's get into it. Sandra Lynn and welcome to Legal Doc Talk 24 7. Uh, today, this is by request. Some A subscriber wanted me to update, to give an update on what's going on with Kashan. So let's hop on into it. Uh, so, this is her um, information for California. Um, that show, it shows her arrest date, total bail amount, the housing which actually changed on July 26, uh, for about four days ago, um, does not have a court date. Now this release date is showing um, when her 30 days that she served for California expired, okay? So that is when California, remember they ordered her uh, the 12 months probation, Plus, she had to do 30 days in jail. So she did um, the, wait, the two, one day count as two days. So her um, ex expiration date for the 30-day sentence for California uh, expired on June 20th, 2024. So from that. So that means Tory Lanez will be out in two and a half years. Point on. Or one and a half we were pretty much waiting for Oklahoma to um, start the process of extradition. But as we know, as I went over in other videos that she did hire a lawyer um, for her Oklahoma case and they are now working on the case. What is going on behind the scenes? No one knows <laughs> until they right. uh, update the docket um, or put some information out there to the public. But as of right now, we don't know what's going on with Oklahoma. So that is why this release date is showing. Um, and this is just showing you guys um, the California case once again, um, showing that she had court on the 14th. That's when they scheduled her for the 30 days and the 12 months probation. And it has once again since then expired. So going over to Oklahoma, uh, and I'll refresh this so you guys can make sure we don't miss anything. So once again, the only thing that has been filed was the motion uh, to for the Florida attorney to practice under a licensed Oklahoma attorney. Um, once again, he is working on her case. Um, <clears throat> Which shout out to him or shout out to Blueface for paying for the lawyer. However it went, don't matter. She getting help from a lawyer, period. Somebody stepped in to help her. Um, and reading the documents, it did show that he submitted the application for Pro Hoc Vice back in um, May. So he has been working on this. Um, and the reason why the previous lawyer withdrew is because he did what he needed to do. And so he got out of the case. And I mean, that's all. Um, another thing that I do want to point out to you guys is that this order still is here. The order for the commitment of 30 days, um, that, that was not vacated, um, or, you know, dealt away with that is something that still is there. So meaning that she still has to do her 30 days. Now, what is going on behind the scenes in regards to the other violations and rules from what was posted on the um, acceleration application uh, for deferred judgment? We don't know what the, uh, the attorney is working on. Like I said, until this court docket is updated. <coughs> this girl is lying right now. <coughs> there is no case in Oklahoma. We told y'all months ago there was a motion to accelerate. Lola just posted reading the entire motion. Krishan was not allowed to live in California. What? First of all, she wouldn't have had an interstate um, probation if she wasn't allowed to live in California. But what happened was she ended up not paying and breaking that. So she was actually allowed to live in California. The motion to accelerate says her warrant is for a closed case. What? Nah, y'all niggas just saying anything at this point. She absolutely was allowed to have an interstate 
probation, which is why she was granted that in the first place. Do you know we've already done hours of reading the motion? Like, what are you, what are you talking about? Just be saying any goddamn thing. She decided not to pay them people to probate. She decided not to pay. That's number one. And she didn't do community service, which, yes, they then wanted her to bring her ass back to Oklahoma. Back to Oklahoma. But originally, she was granted interstate probation. Ain't nobody lying. Ooh, y'all get on my nerve. Then there's not a lot of information that I can give you guys. I'm not going to call the district attorney. I'm not going to call. And it's absolutely a case of Oklahoma, though her attorney and say hey you know what's the status because you know whatever they're working on they're working on and once they're ready to file whatever it is that they need to file then once they file it then i can read it to you guys and present the information but as of right now she has counsel the order for commitment of 30 days is still then somebody just said um y'all know i got time today uh people are worried for a baby that's weird you weird no you're weird because why would you be worried about a child that, A, is not yours at all? That's number one. Your concern, you wasn't concerned when you and when she was paying for them diapers, were you? I'm just wondering if any of y'all chipped in on a diaper or on a can of milk around this bitch. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's not weird to not worry about a child that ain't mine. Plus... The mother has gr the mother, the person who had him has granted whatever responsibility to the person that's taking care of said child. So back to you being weird. Uh, why are you? You not worried about mine? Hell wrong with y'all worried about other people's kids that you ain't putting in on that you didn't put in on. That's weird. It's wrong with y'all. I got time today. There. Um, I'm still half drunk from last night. She's still in Los Angeles. <laughs> we don't know if Oklahoma's coming to get her. That's just, you know, it, that's just what the information is. Um, I wanted to show this page because it does show that she still has an outstanding warrant for Oklahoma. Um, and then here is the wanted. Now, granted, that right now in Central Standard Time, it's 1131. <laughs> in California, it is what? 10, 9, 8. It's about 8-ish there. Well, 8 or no, probably 9. <laughs> I think we're two hours uh, ahead of them. So right now it's, it's 9, uh, 31 over there. So I'm pretty sure they're getting their day started. So I'm going to keep an eye on this trying to figure out what's going on. Definitely would be her picture. One, if she I like, get any new updates, I would definitely up. This picture gives me, I'm caught y'all. <laughs> guys, um, don't forget <laughs> to comment, you know, what your thoughts is on this, what it is that you would like for me to update you guys regarding Krishan. Uh, just leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until oh then, my God. be blessed. Tipper. What you aren't understanding is that we already know that Krishan did not hold up her end of the deal that she was supposed to in L.A., which she was granted an interstate probation, which means she was supposed to get a P.O. officer in Los Angeles. She didn't. So she did not do her community service. She did not pay her lawyer. She didn't... Um, pay for her probation at all and do anything she was supposed to do with her probation. What you just said was she said that she wasn't coming back to Oklahoma. You do know that we know that. That's why she's being extradited. Well, probably in Oklahoma right now, but that's why she's being extradited back to Oklahoma. Krishan told us, she told the lawyer, she told the PO, she told everybody she wasn't going back to Oklahoma. They was going to have to catch her ass. And they did. At Blueface's court date. Yes, 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 yes. What you think you're caught up on, we already know. We already know. We already know. <laughs> That's why her ass is getting shifted, lifted in the ship right now to uh, Oklahoma because she didn't hold up her end of the deal. We are fully aware of that.
But what you just came in and said was it wasn't a case in Oklahoma? That's a lie. Of course, I don't even have a case in Oklahoma. That's not true. That's If she didn't have a case in Oklahoma, then why the hell would Oklahoma be able to extradite her back to Oklahoma? You came in just not making no sense. So my thing is, if you're going to talk about it, like, know what you're saying. Please. I'm not disrespecting any other reporter you got whatever you got from. Okay? So shout out to her. I'm talking about what we know over here. And and it's on government websites. And she's had a hold from Oklahoma in L.A. for the past, what, 30 days now? (laughs) How could Oklahoma have a hold on her if it ain't a case or, or nothing with her in Oklahoma? It's just... I don't miss arguing with y'all about this. This is stupid. Okay. We already know all this information. It's nothing you can tell me right now. I even had Cassandra come over here and break all this down for me. You hear me? She broke it all down. I told y'all I had time today. They not messing up the vibe, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to go back and forth when I feel like it. I just feel like it. But uh, this is uh, Cassandra's update on Krishan being extradited. Yeah. This your girl, your favorite paralegal, a.k.a. Cassandra Lynn, and welcome <sighs> to Legal Doc Talk 24-7. Um, so in the midst of me doing my work, y'all know I have to just check the court docket and this is in reference to Krishan Rock uh, so let's hop right on into it so there has been <laughs> okay where is my screen I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm gonna reshare uh, um, I'm glad oh, the screen that I want to share um, our... huh? Thank you. for what Oh, no problem. All right. So this is the um, Los Angeles inmate. um, I don't want to say docket, but if if I'm weird and you watching me, you're making yourself even weirder. Just continuously proving my point. Wow. How dare you watch somebody you don't like with your weird ass? Jesus Christ. Information. I can put it that way. Um, <laughs> if I'm weird to any of y'all over here watching my weird ass, you are doing yourself a disservice. Okay? Don't do yourself like that. That's crazy. So we know that today she made a couple of moves and I wasn't going to sit there and keep updating you guys <laughs> on <laughs> how many times that she moved. Why but I had an inclination like that? <laughs> that they were getting ready for her to be... Um, going somewhere whether it was home or to um oklahoma um but it does show that her release is today um it says the release reason is custody and the description shows custody release 444 in the chat and uh it does show oklahoma and 1950 <laughs> so that's at 7 51 a.m i just was, told you i was still half drunk you're not telling me nothing nothing <laughs> released to oklahoma custody so she is heading to oklahoma um there's not Kim, did you see she said, hold on, I got to go back. I could tell you drunk, swolled up. <laughs> too much to really, uh, oh my God. not too much to really. you uh, always coming for somebody that can't even spell. Enunciate, oh, pronunciate, it's just nothing. Uh. <laughs> Go, let's see. And I'm I'm totally not looking at the chat, but that's not you know too much information. But yeah, oh, I don't shit. even have notifications. Oh For God. me, it's not really that serious. Hilarious. So I just happen to every now oh, and then just I'll talking. just kind of Okay, I thought she was about to go. Oh child, this whole video is just roasting. Listen, after we done with this video, we can argue all day in the comments. Y'all, 
I just want y'all to know this is the update uh, on Krishan. Well, Krishan uh, originally being moved into jail and now being extradited. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there. Child. She was probably reading people's comments. Yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, we just gonna keep you updated. All right.